Yo, what is up guys? Chase the Barrow here, and welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 video. Today I'm going to be showcasing my top 3 favorite invasion builds. Now these builds are all going to be centered around mid-level, uh, because I tend to invade at the mid-level. It's, it's more active than the meta levels, and really any other level at this point in time. So I tend to make a lot of my builds at soul level 50 or soul level 60. And I wanted to showcase my 3 favorite ones to you guys. So, starting off with my Baymore build. So let's start off with the stats. First off, it is a 30 strength, 13 dexterity build centered around using the heavy infused claymore. The claymore has quickly become one of my favorite great swords, amazing for roll catching, has awesome damage output, and is buffable. Now, in my offhand, I keep a fire dagger. It is probably the highest damaging repost weapon you could have on a strength build at soul level 54. It one shots a lot of phantoms and does a crazy amount of damage to hosts. I also keep a dark infused rapier in my third offhand just to catch opponents that have a tiny amount of health and are trying to escape me, because greatswords aren't the best at chasing down opponents if they're just consecutively rolling away from you, so I keep a rapier on me for that reason. Also, it has 130 crit, so I have, if I happen to get a parry off, I don't have time to switch to my dagger, since it's two weapon slots away from my third weapon slot, so I like the fact that it has 130 crit for that reason. Now, there are a few other weapons that I keep on me on the build, just for situations that may arise. I keep the heavy infused Viander on me, just in case I have three opponents who are consecutively running attacking me and I need to hyper armor through them. Having a horizontal slash with this much range is really helpful. Um, I also keep the Executioner's Greatsword on me because its AR is very similar to the Claymore. Same with the moveset, only it deals strike damage, so if you know they have high slash absorption, you can optimize the build by using the strike damage sword. Um, I also keep the Butcher's Knife on me, just in case. They're being parry kings, and I'm trying to go catch them with the rapier. This just switches up the timing a little bit. And that's pretty much all the weapons that I keep on me for the build. The armor setup, you can wear whatever you like. I just love this fashion. I think it looks pretty sweet. Also gives me 32 poise, so that's pretty useful. Um, I keep the hornet ring on me at all times. It's kind of how you deal with phantoms at this level. Havel's ring to wear all of these swords at the same time. Um, Prisoner's chain, because it's kind of a stable ring for me. It's in all my builds. And the same with the ring of favor. That's pretty much it for the build showcase. I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of highlights of battles that I've used with this build so you can see it in action. Why, hello. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Big boy, big boy. Lord Zorma. Big boy. Big boy for sure. Wow, that was depressing. I missed both of those guys. I thought I'd get at least one of them. <laughs> he wasn't expecting that now, was he? This time I'm being greedy, because I think that'll kill the phantom. Oh, thank god. Ah. Uh, you don't get to do that to me. I do that to you. This guy pl immediately pulls out his two hand. It's like, nah, I'm not gonna get parried. Not today. You have no poise, big boy. That thing's gonna hurt if it hits me, though. So I need to be careful. I need to never do two attacks. I need my lighting damage here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Chug. Yep. Get some punish damage. I'll just second hit, kill him. Yeah, okay. Oh, he went back to resummon, maybe? <laughs> oh, do I let him live? No way, there's a blue coming. I am evil. We're gonna go pick them off one by one, you ready? Do they even notice that I'm here or no? Well, this guy knows now, but now it's too late. Straight murder him. You're next, my man. And where's the host at now? He's falling back. Falling back! Oh, we're gonna shield together? Okay. Ooh, a bad call, my man. My knife's not even in him. It's like beside him. All three. Show him what you got. Show him what you got. Got a faith build. I feel like those aren't gonna do that much damage. I feel like he's not that overpowered faith wise. We're about to see. Wow, that was so weak. 
I was expecting like a third of my health, not like one one hundredth. What the hell? This is so strange. The only one doing okay damage is this watcher, because he's over leveled. And even then he's dead. That was just sad. Ooh, that was just straight murdering right there. This one deserves a wave. I'm going to be showcasing my Soul Level 60 Intelligence Based Invasion build. Now the build itself is focused completely around the Moonlight Greatsword and Greatsword of Judgment. There are no sorceries on this build. That's right, complete sword play, no magic at all. As for the actual stat investment, I have the minimum requirements in strength and dexterity to wield both the Great Sword of Judgment and the Moonlight Great Sword, and the rest of my stat allocation is pretty much focused towards intelligence for damage output. Uh, other than that, I like having a decent health and stamina pool, so I have 25 endurance and 30 vigor. That's pretty much it for the stat allocation. Now, as for the actual weapons, you can swap between the Moonlight Great Sword and the Great Sword of Judgment, whatever one you like. They have pretty much the same AR. The Great Sword of Judgment will do more damage once you buff it with the weapon art, but base damage, Moonlight Great Sword wins. Um, I have a Crystal Dagger for repost damage. It almost one shots all phantoms, so you're going to want to keep one of these on you, especially with this build. Um, your choice of shield is really up to you. I like the Iron Shield because it has decent stability. It's great for setup parries because it is a small shield so you can block. And I keep it simple and fused so I can continue to use the weapon arts of my weapons when I run out of FP. I don't like having FP flasks on me, it kind of wastes my heal factor. Um, as for my armor setup, it's really my own fashion souls. There's no bonus to wearing this armor at all, you can wear whatever you like, I just thought this looks really fitting to the build. Um, as for the rings, I have the Hornet Ring, that's kind of a must, it one shots phantoms with the crystal dagger, that's pretty much the point of the ring. Ring of favor plus 3, gives you extra stamina, vitality, vigor. It's kind of the, one of the best rings, I'd say. The Prisoner's Chain, same thing as the Ring of Favor, except it comes with the drawback of losing absorption, but barely any. I still recommend it. And the final ring is really up to you. You can swap it for the Havel's Ring if you'd like to wear heavier armor and have more poise, or you can have the Life Ring like I do, just to have extra health. And that's pretty much it for the build showcase, guys. I'm going to showcase a bunch of invasions for you following this, so you can check out the build in actual battle. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. Come get me now. Come get me now, sir. Sir pokes a lot. I'm ready. Oh, Libra. Oh, that MLG behind the back parry. Bet you weren't expecting that. What are you excited about? <laughs> excited that I destroyed your friend? Oh, that was also MLG. What just happened? <laughs> that was too hilarious. Oh my god. You're gonna have to meet your maker eventually. Ugh. There you go. Take swings. Take action. For only through action can you achieve victory. Just not against me. <laughs> Back to your original strat of straight sword and parries. That's how you parry, my good sir. Still alive, I see. Still alive. Goodbye, Zed. You were only in my way. Here comes another blue. Will he get here before I can kill you, though, is the question. It's the real and only question. I think he will. Yep. Blue, that's bothering me to my core. Weak. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, sir! Boy, am I gonna kill you. Do that one more time.
That's what I thought. This might finish him. Might, of course. Of course it doesn't finish him. Get real mad, boys. Goodbye. Goodbye. They're both alive still. That's the sad part. Like, literally, both are so alive. Goodbye, Steve-O. Alright, now it's just me and you, newbie. Enough. Take the point down. Oh my god. Why? Oh, boys. Boys. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna use the poke. And by the poke, I mean the weapon ought. Come on, man, trade. Yeah! <laughs> Take that monster damage. Goodbye. He was like a gold king, and I was the king that lies beneath. Oh, bros. Oh, bros. I don't know if they've realized I'm here yet. Oh, why would you lock onto that one? Oh god, alright, we're gonna have to just go change our location. Oh, now the tables have turned, haven't they, Blanc? They have. Now you know not. What are you doing? Oh, is this guy Perry King? Is like Katana Perry King is what I'm dealing with right now. This guy's a, a sushi roll. He's the Mackie roll. No? Do I look like I was giving you a free... Fuck. No! Oh my god, his Estus is just enough for him to survive that. The most annoying thing in the universe. Goodbye! <laughs> See you later! That's how you backstab, my friend. Let me teach you the way. You think you're a trick king, bro? Just... Nope. That guy with the sights is not getting me with that weapon art, that is for sure. That would make me god tier. Good job. I got stamina. And now you're done diddly dead. Can we get him with the wind scar? Oh, he's gonna keep doing that. All right, next time he's getting parried. If he gets it next time. Nope. <sighs> Straight murdering right now. And my final favorite invasion build would be my pure faith build at mid-level. So it is a soul level 50. Pure Faith build revolved completely around Lightning Miracles. Um, I use the Lightning Longsword, the Lightning Dagger for posts, a Cestus because I don't really parry a lot with this build, and I can keep it on me just to regen FP, uh, the Canvas Talisman because it has a ton of Hyper Armor on cast so I'm able to tank through attacks while using my Lightning Miracles to trade, whatever armor set you really want to use. I think this one just looks kind of Lightning-ish. Morn's Ring, Prisoner's Chain, Sage Ring plus two, and the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. And the stats are on the right there, check them up for yourself, but it's mostly pure faith. Um, I started as the Deprived class, got enough attunement for three Miracle slots, and the rest is in Vigor. And as for the Miracles that I use, I use Sunlight Spear, Lightning Stake, and Lightning Arrow most of the time. Lightning Arrow to pressure them, uh, Sunlight Spear to trade, almost one shots most Phantoms, and then Lightning Stake to hit a few enemies at once. But yeah, that's, that's it for the lightning build. Let's get into some of the highlight invasions for it. He's gonna L1 at me and he's gonna die. Called it! <laughs> oh, and he fell, man. Lightning OP! <laughs> No matter when I invade, there's always a group of dudes standing by this ball. Like, every time. Oh my god! This man right there! No health! That was- he was rocking the no health meta. 
And like he was he was rocking it hard. Ooh, two down. You can't escape the lightning, man. It's too powerful. I'm sorry, Shroom. A god walks among you. One more. Let's give them a friendly wave. Oh, hey. That was rude. I thought we were going to be all loving. And then you went and did that. This man's out of arrows. We're going to get this white. We're going to get this white guy right here. Nice, nice. Even, even the blue gets his way in here. Okay, so I didn't need to use the sunlight arrow. I mean sunlight spear right there, but hey. Young wolf. Show me what you got, young wolf. I would have backstabbed had I known he was just gonna go for one. Oh no. Come here, boyo. Come here. Oh. Young wolf down. I forgot I'm not wearing the hornet ring. Oh my god, come on, dude. You didn't even fight me. That's just, that is the fastest quit out I've seen in a while. That was funny. <laughs> come get me, boys. It's Katana Man. Oh, please do that one more time. That heavy would be hilarious. If you do that one more time, you might, you might die, my friend. Oh, scary when you get hit by that, isn't it? This man's about to find out. <laughs> Goodbye, Priscilla. Ooh. I'm going straight savage. <laughs> oh, yeah, you need that, Estes. One more of those and it's game over, sir. Oh. I'll give him a bow. That was just straight destruction. 